lightsaber. It belongs to me. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 Star Wars lightsaber battles in movies and TV. Come, Padawan. Your fall will be my ascension to the sea. For this list, we'll be looking at the coolest, most epic lightsaber battles from across the Star Wars films and television series. We'll only be including true lightsaber versus lightsaber duels, so no lightsaber fights against other kinds of melee weapons or blasters. Let us know in the comments which of these is your favorite. Number 20. Grievous vs. Six Jedi – Star Wars Clone Wars Though it's often treated as the forgotten child of Star Wars media, this 2003 micro-series is a favorite of many fans. Developed and animated by Samurai Jack's Gendy Tartakovsky, Star Wars Clone Wars pushed the boundaries of what the franchise could be. One of the greatest gifts that it gave to fans was its treatment of General Grievous. The Jedi Killer, while impressive on paper, often feels quite silly in the way he's depicted, both in Revenge of the Sith and the computer animated Clone Wars series. I was expecting someone with your reputation to be a little older. General Grievous. You're shorter than I expected. Here, however, he's a formidable hunter and terrifying villain. Count him. He's facing off against six Jedi. He tears them apart like a horror movie monster, inspiring shock and fear in his victims despite their training. Number 19. Obi-Wan and Asajj Ventress vs. Darth Maul and Savage Oppress – Star Wars The Clone Wars Anything more to say? I like your new legs. They make you look taller. The Clone Wars gave us plenty of thrilling duels across its seven seasons, but two-on-two -two battles always feel special. Plus, there's just a certain novelty in watching Obi-Wan Kenobi wield a red lightsaber. I want that back. That's fine. Red's not my color. Rarely have we seen quite so many crimson blades in the same space. Facing a formidable pair of foes and brothers Darth Maul and Savage Press, Obi-Wan is forced to team up with adversary-turned-occasional ally Asajj Ventress. <laughs> the ensuing battle is brutal and lightning quick, to the point that it's sometimes hard to keep track of whose lightsaber is whose. It's a duel worthy of a season finale, and Darth Maul's trash talk adds an extra emotional punch. You master Qui-Gon Jinn. I gutted him while you stood helpless and watched. How did that make you feel, Obi-Wan? It's not every day you see Kenobi run from a fight. Number 18. Kanan and Ezra vs. the Grand Inquisitor – Star Wars Rebels Star Wars Rebels was quite a departure from the Clone Wars, but it soon won the fanbase over with strong writing and scenes like this one. Taking place in a generator complex, it's reminiscent of the Phantom Menace's confrontation between Obi-Wan, Qui-Gon Jinn, and Darth Maul. Kanan kicks the duel off by using Ezra's prototype lightsaber in unexpected ways. From that point on, the action does not let up. At last, a fight that might be worthy of my time. When Ezra gets his hands on a lightsaber to make it a two-on-one, you'd expect the Inquisitor to be rattled, but he's totally unfazed, quickly taking Ezra out of the fight. Climactic, full of neat lightsaber work, and ending in dramatic fashion, this duel helped solidify Rebels' place in Star Wars history. <laughs> Number 17. Mace Windu vs. Darth Sidious Star Wars Episode 3 – Revenge of the Sith Are you threatening me, Master Jedi? As any serious Star Wars fan will tell you, Mace Windu is a master of melee combat, one of the most talented Jedi to ever wield a lightsaber. In fact, he developed and perfected his own unique and aggressive style, known as Vapod. 
we see his skills on display on Geonosis, where we got to see his amethyst blade. Master Windu, how pleasant of you to join us. This party's over. But it's during his confrontation with Darth Sidious that he really shows off his formidable abilities. The battle begins with Sidious cutting down three Jedi in record time, but the unflappable Windu uses his unpredictable style to disarm his foe. <laughs> If only Anakin hadn't intervened. Number 16. Finn and Rey vs. Kylo Ren, Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. That lightsaber. It belongs to me. Fans had been waiting a decade for another live action duel when The Force Awakens came out. The first time Finn wields a lightsaber, he struggles to hold his own against a riot trooper. In the finale, he does a little better against Kylo Ren, but fights with more grit than skill. This means it's up to Rey to face off against Darth Vader's grandson. <laughs> It's a truly awesome moment when she force pulls Anakin's lightsaber into her hands. Fans were a bit skeptical that Rey managed to defeat Kylo, but hey, Kylo had just been shot. All in all, it was a thrilling duel that introduced fans to the lightsaber combat of the sequel trilogy. More choreographed than the originals, but less stylized than the prequels. Number 15, Obi-Wan vs. Darth Vader, Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. Sure, in terms of choreography, this duel can't hold a candle to those that followed. It's stage fighting, plain and simple. What it lacks in wow factor, however, it makes up for in terms of emotional charge and nostalgia. You can't win, Darth. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. This was the first time that we ever saw a lightsaber duel, and that makes it historic. It's also a reminder of the fact that lightsaber duels are about more than flips and fancy spins. The stakes here are high, and Obi-Wan's sacrifice is incredibly powerful. In the years since, the time we've spent with Obi-Wan in other media has only added to the significance of the moment. Number 14, Rey vs. Kylo Ren. Star Wars Episode 9: The Rise of Skywalker While Rey and Kylo trade blows several times throughout the sequel trilogy, this is arguably their most satisfying duel. Yeah. Rey is actually fighting like a Jedi this time around, and Kylo isn't hampered by a blaster wound. The atmosphere is all kinds of ominous, and there's a good balance of force abilities and straightforward lightsaber combat. By this point, Rey and Kylo have a rather complicated relationship, giving the exchange an emotional intensity. Plus, there's just something epic about these characters duking it out on the wreckage of the Death Star, especially considering their respective legacies. Number 13, Darth Maul vs. Pre Vizsla, Star Wars The Clone Wars After having his potential cut short in the prequel films, Darth Maul got a new lease on life in the Clone Wars animated series. When Maul challenges Mandalorian warrior Pre Vizsla to single combat, the ensuing battle is all kinds of badass. I challenge you, one warrior to another, and only the strongest shall rule Mandalore. So be it. We've seen Mandalorians fight Jedi and Sith alike, and their prowess in combat is often enough to make up for a lack of force abilities. What makes the duel such a pleasure to watch, however, is Pre Vizsla's use of the Darksaber in conjunction with his more typical Mandalorian arsenal. Maul and Pre Vizsla have fundamentally different fighting styles, making it so that we never know what will happen next. <laughs> Number 12, Yoda vs. Count Dooku, Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. Master Yoda, 
Count Dooku. It's a treat for viewers pretty much any time Dooku pulls out a lightsaber, though not always for him. For years, fans had salivated at the idea of finally seeing the great Jedi Master Yoda in battle, but we didn't think we'd ever get to see it until this epic matchup. <laughs> Few fans predicted the acrobatics Master Yoda would employ to gain an advantage over his much larger opponent. Struggling in with a walking stick and looking small and weak, he instead shows great strength, and his outmatched adversary ultimately flees. This is just the beginning. Number 11. Anakin vs. Asajj Ventress. Star Wars Clone Wars. Come, Padawan. Your fall will be my ascension to the sea. Asajj Ventress was initially designed by the art department for Episode 2, but she didn't actually make her debut until the first animated Clone Wars series. Sidious instructs her to kill Anakin, hoping to use her to test Anakin's skills. Their duel takes them through the jungles of Yavin 4 and into the ruins of Masasi temples. With fast-paced mid-air combat, as well as more deliberate face-to-face -face moments, this altercation has it all, including a dramatic ending. Once Asajj Ventress is defeated, an enraged Anakin stands on the edge of a dark abyss, holding a red-bladed lightsaber, a chilling foreshadowing of events to come. <laughs> Number 10. Darth Maul and Savage Oppress vs. Obi-Wan and Adi Galea Star Wars The Clone Wars what do you get when you combine two Sith and two Jedi? Well, one dead Jedi, apparently. When this bout begins, things seem relatively evenly matched, but before long it becomes clear that that is not at all the case. <laughs> when Maul's older brother and Adi Galea separate and face off, it's one of the quickest and most one-sided affairs in lightsaber history. Managing to hold her own with him for mere moments after an ineffective kick, she meets her end when she is literally stabbed in the back. <laughs> Number 9. Darth Sidious vs. Savage Oppress and Darth Maul Star Wars The Clone Wars The Dathomirian brothers make our list again, this time when they team up against Darth Sidious. I sense a presence. A presence I haven't felt since. Master. Now that Maul has his own army, his former master sees him as a potential rival. Maul pretends that he's still loyal, but really he's out for blood, and Sidious knows it. This was arguably Maul's best chance for revenge against Sidious, but despite the aid of his brother, Sidious remains in control throughout. <laughs> Maul throws himself into the fight, but to no avail. The duel shows off the extent of the Emperor's true strength, and you can't help but feel for Maul as he grieves his brother. <laughs> Number 8. Obi-Wan vs. General Grievous Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith Hello there. We know what you're thinking. How isn't a duel featuring a four-armed cyborg with lightsabers in each hand higher up in the list? <laughs> That just goes to show how many kick-ass saber contests there have been. Each weapon the general possesses signifies a Jedi he defeated, so the deck is definitely stacked against our hero Obi-Wan, especially with Grievous's propeller-like blade action keeping him at bay. But once he begins to disarm the general of his weapons, literally, the tide starts to turn. Oh, I don't think so. Who? Ah! Mind you, he does have to resort to a blaster to end the fight. Number 7. Yoda vs. Darth Sidious Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith Faith in your new apprentice misplaced me be. As is your faith in the dark side of the Force. When the Empire struck back in 1980 and we met Yoda for the first time, it became clear to fans that he was the light side counterpart to the evil Emperor. However, the idea of seeing the two come to blows never seemed possible. 
But when episode three came out 25 years later, we finally got a face-to-face -face showdown. Yes, it's a CGI bonanza, and having Yoda and Sidious resort to lightsabers at all divided fans, but it's still an epic confrontation to decide the fate of the galaxy. We got to see them duel again in the season six finale of The Clone Wars, although sadly, this was just a vision. Still, it was an amazing battle that featured Yoda having to make some momentous choices. Number six, Ahsoka versus Darth Vader, Star Wars Rebels. Watching a newly blinded Kanan tangle with Darth Maul in the Rebels season two finale was definitely satisfying. <laughs> But this episode also gave us arguably Rebels' most powerful moment, the reunion between an apprentice and her fallen master. Revenge is not the Jedi way. I am no Jedi. Seeing Ahsoka realize Anakin's fate is truly heartbreaking. As they cross sabers, Vader's sheer power is awe-inspiring, but so too is Ahsoka's mastery over her weapons. <laughs> There may be no Jedis here, as Ahsoka makes clear, but their incredible skills, different styles, and long personal history make this duel stand out. I won't leave you. Not this time. Then you will die. Number five, Luke versus Darth Vader. Star Wars Episode Six: Return of the Jedi. The fastest paced exchange from the original trilogy, this fight was punctuated by the calm conversation that takes place between the combatants and their lone spectator. <laughs> However, the scene was never about the action, though there are some great examples of that. Oh, <laughs> Good. Use your aggressive feelings, boy. No, what we love most about this battle is the palpable tension and emotion that's been building over the course of three movies finally coming to an end. The reveal that Vader's hand is also cybernetic is perhaps the simplest yet most compelling and symbolic part of the entire sequence. Never. I'll never turn to the dark side. Number four, Ahsoka versus Darth Maul. Star Wars The Clone Wars. The seventh and final season of Star Wars The Clone Wars delivered the sort of ending that the series deserved. It also gave us arguably the best lightsaber duel in the history of the show. As she confronts Maul, Ahsoka clings onto her faith in Anakin, unwilling to believe that he could turn to the dark side. If this fight felt even more gritty and visceral than usual, you can thank stuntwoman Lauren Mary Kim and Darth Maul actor Ray Park, who provided the motion capture performances. You're lucky Anakin didn't show up. The way you're fighting, you wouldn't have lasted long. No, you have Kenobi's arrogance. The choreography is beautiful, the scoring is cinematic, and the banter is on point. It's a two-part duel that would have been worthy of the big screen. This is the Clone Wars at its best and most polished. Number three, Luke versus Darth Vader. Star Wars Episode Five: The Empire Strikes Back. The Force is with you, young Skywalker. But you are not a Jedi yet. This duel saw Luke test out his newfound skills against Vader and find out the truth about his father. The stakes couldn't be higher, with Han kidnapped and the rebellion on its back foot. As hero and villain face off, the visuals of them shrouded in smoke and shadow, the glow of their lightsabers swinging back and forth is exhilarating and frightening all at once. Slow paced and methodical, Vader seems to be toying with his younger and less trained foe. It culminates in a stunning reveal and defeat for the good guys but we wouldn't change a single thing about it. There is no escape. Don't make me destroy you. Number two, Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan versus Darth Maul. Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. 
When episode one was released, many Star Wars fans left theaters feeling dissatisfied. But there was one new addition that most loved, Darth Maul. Athletic, agile, and just downright cool looking, Maul was a Sith Lord unlike anything we'd seen before. We first glimpsed his battle prowess as he dueled Qui-Gon on Tatooine, but this was just a taste of what was to come. His fight against Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan showed us what a lightsaber duel could look like in the heyday of the Jedi. The choreography is incredible, and Qui-Gon's fate is burned into our memories, not to mention Obi-Wan's final move. The duel would lead to a long-lasting rivalry that only ended in Star Wars Rebels. I have come to kill you, but perhaps it's worse to leave you here, festering in your squalor. Before we unveil our most epic number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Sabine vs. Gar Saxon, Star Wars Rebels. <laughs> Anakin vs. Count Dooku, Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. Ahsoka and Luminara vs. Ventress, Star Wars The Clone Wars. Anakin vs. Barriss Offee, Star Wars The Clone Wars. Should have gotten rid of them! I think they suit me. Obi-Wan and Anakin vs. Count Dooku, Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Obi-Wan vs. Anakin, Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. I will do what I must. You will try. It doesn't get better than this. Epic and emotionally charged, this contest between a teacher and his pupil is by far the largest in scope of the entire series. The whole prequel trilogy was building to this moment, when these two former friends turn on one another. Between strikes, Obi-Wan pleads for Anakin to see the error of his ways, despite knowing deep down that it's too late for that. In the end, Anakin's hubris is his ultimate undoing. It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! Unable to overcome Kenobi, he ends up crippled and badly burned, filled with hate and pain. It's the making of an iconic villain. It was said that you would destroy this and not join them! Bring balance to the Force, not leave it in darkness! Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.